Oh, <laughs> oops. Oh, I was I was going to Did you want No, it's okay. You can read it. It's no problem. My lack hunting is all. I used to be a cop, actually, police officer, real cop, this guy, real policeman. Well, that, that's kind of like hunting, I guess. Yeah, real cop, retired, turned in my badge. I mean, there's always the danger that they could come back to, like, my cabin out in the woods and be like, Mappy, we need you one last time. And I'd have to be all... Hey, aren't you that disgraced cop? <sighs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but... Aren't we all disgraced cops in one way or another? No. Well, agree to disagree. They're ready for you now, Mr. Mappy. Oh, great, thanks. Good luck. Yeah, you too. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes no sense because you'll get the job then, but... Uh, hey, I'm just trying to be polite, man. May the best man win. Welcome, Mr. Mappy. You have quite an impressive resume, I see. Mm -hmm. Except the part where you left the force disgraced, huh? <laughs> Goro! Hmm, yes. You didn't expect to see your nemesis in such a position of power, did you? <laughs> you were the reason I had to leave the micro-police. Hmm, or was it the micro-police who left you? <laughs> no, I had to leave. They, they let me go. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Goro. The 80s. Things were different back then. But I don't have to tell you that. Oh man, this is so exciting. I can't believe you finally took me on a ride along. Take it easy, Doug. Remember, you have to stay in the car, okay? I'm on duty. This isn't playtime for me. Alright, I get it. I get it. I'm with you. 10-4. Good buddy. <laughs> so where do you guys carry your drills? Those in the, uh, you got those in the trunk? I, I'm a police officer, okay? You realize that? We don't have drills. We have firearms. You got, you got no drills? How do you drop boulders on criminals? The only thing I drop on criminals is a dose of justice. <laughs> that is what I am talking about. Real cop stuff. That should be on a patch or something. Please don't touch the radio. Don't touch right, the I'm radio. I'm going to touch the radio just don't real quick. Don't touch the radio. Real Dig Doug. Just get some music up in here. Going on cars. Going on cars. Robbery in progress. This is my first day on radio duty. I don't know what the code is. It's a code, I don't know the code. Let me look up the code real quick. Hold on. It's Ted something. It's my first day on the job. I really apologize for not getting this out. If you look like a cop, I need you down there. Call it all cops. Is this really happening? Or is this an episode of Candid Camera? I mean the new Candid Camera, not the 60s one. This is real. And if they're calling all cars, it's big. They didn't just call one car. They called all cars. It's an all car thing. We could be in for a rough night. Woo! This is radical. I feel like Magnum PI. Dig Dug! You can't be Magnum PI because you're not a cop. I'll be I'll be Rick to your Magnum. Rick's cool guy. He's got that cool hair. Oh, and it's not important, Dig Dug. It doesn't matter how we correlate to Magnum PI, is what I'm talking about. Don't distract me. This is police work. It's not important. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Jeez. Just don't make me be Higgins, okay? Ugh! Oh, sorry, I'm late, Commissioner. There was a new coke ride at the Haircut 100 concert uptown. That sounds grody to the max, Mappy. I'm glad you got out in one piece. We need you here. We got a silent alarm from this mansion. We think the infamous Meowkies gang are still inside burglarizing the place. Finally. This is our chance to catch them and stop their crime wave once and for all. It's the day we've been waiting for. And I know you wanted to make the collar. Personally, they made it personal after they robbed that museum and escaped off the roof with those parachute pants. Slow them down with your pump so you can lure them all under a boulder. Then, drill under it for maximum score. Dig Dug! I told you to stay in the car. I'm not digging anything. It's like 6,000 points. I'm going in. Goro! Put down the paintings and come out with your paws up. We've got the place surrounded. No! You better! I don't think so. Better do it or else! Okay, Mappy, you've given us no choice. Also your weapon, we're coming peacefully. Were you lying just now? Yes. 
But don't look now because you may want to look behind you right now. <laughs> huh? ah! <laughs> Look what you've done, Mappy. You've destroyed one of the most priceless paintings in the world when you thought you were catching me, but I have even more bad news for you. <laughs> we're not even inside the mansion because we escaped hours ago with all the other paintings. Oh, Goro! You tricked me! <laughs> and guess what else? You're not even interacting with me at all. <laughs> this is a recording because I didn't want to miss perfect strangers tonight. I'm ruined. Goro! Ruined! Goodbye, poor Mappy. May my final parting words to you ring in your head for all eternity. Where's the beef? No! Did we get him? No. <laughs> Those were good times, eh, old friend? <laughs> that was the worst time. And you are my worst enemy. So why are you offering me a job? Is this a trap? I thought you would ask that. And so I prepared an answer for you. <laughs> I'm a respectable businessman now, and things aren't as exciting as they once were. I've committed a crime, Mappy, and I'm hiring you to try to catch me. What crime? <laughs> I'm not going to make it that easy on you. That's for you to discover if you can, but I'm betting that you can. <laughs> I miss you. What? Never mind that now. What's important is the opportunity I'm placing at your feet. A chance to redeem yourself. A chance to finally catch the great Goro red-handed. But I bet you can't, Mappy. I bet you can't. I would never accept a job from you, but I know you're up to something, so I'm going to accept this job from you. You'll never catch me, Mappy. I'm gonna catch you, and I'm gonna lock you up for good. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Good luck, you're going to need it. <laughs> you're a monster, Goro. And I'll never rest until you you're rotting in prison. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Really, time's been so It's my pleasure. How'd it go? You're sky kidding yourself if you think you got this job. Oh! <laughs> Pew pew pew. Attention loyal Nyamco employees, this is your boss, Goro, and I have something important to say, so everyone pay attention right now. <laughs> is it just me, or is everyone getting real fat? You guys are really chubbing up, and I don't like it. I have my own body issues and I'm projecting them onto you, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> well, that's just ridiculous. I'm not... Mm. Because it doesn't hurt to listen. That's why I'm implementing a mandatory exercise program for all Nyamco employees. I expect each of you to report to the employee gymnasium for instructions on how to be less embarrassing to your boss immediately. And this next part is a secret message for everyone but Mappy. So Mappy, cover your big dumb ears right now. <laughs> Are they covered? I'm not going until they're covered. Okay, I don't think you guys are fat. It's just Mappy. So you all don't have to really work out, but pretend you are, because Mappy needs to drop some LBs. <laughs> okay, Mappy, you can uncover your ears now. Did he, did he do it? I can't... Someone tell Mappy he can uncover his ears. Hey, you can uncover your ears now. Yeah, I know, I heard everything. My ears are huge. You know, if Goro thinks he can get under my skin this easily, he's dead wrong. I'll hit those weights. I can get... Ripped. I'm gonna show him how hard I really am. Oh, hey, Mappy. You headed to the gym? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Are you just leaving? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, gotta keep in shape. Pump that iron. So you were just in the gym just now? Yep. 
You were working out? I, I was exercising at the gym. In your suit? Yeah, it's a, it's a real time saver. Dress shoes. There's a lot of gear in them that got a spring to them. Hey, kid, I know Goro told everyone to lie to me. That's not... Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, that's my phone. I better take this important call. Hello? Oh, it's the president. Gotta go. See ya, Mappy. Ah, <sighs> oh, Mappy, good. You're here. If you thought the walk here was a workout, wait until my personal trainers get through with you. <laughs> I don't need a trainer, Goro. I'm still the same weight from my academy days. <laughs> Which one? The candy academy? <laughs> wow. Because you're so fat, you see. I'm... What I'm saying is the implication is you were at an academy to learn how to eat candy. Wouldn't that apply that I was a skinny kid that had to be, like, taught how to eat poorly? Your metaphor breaks down, Gore. No, because you, you did so well at the school. You, you were the valedictorian of the candy academy. But I... I had to go to the academy. What you're saying, do you think you're implying? You think you're implying? Okay, you know what? <laughs> I got you. Can we get started, please? Of course you can, Mappy. Just as soon as you select your trainer. Okay. Uh, how? I don't know. Um, top hat guy, I guess. Adios, Senor Mappy. I am your new trainer. Doesn't adios mean goodbye in Spanish? Yes, uh, I am. How you say? Not actually Spanish. Well, I'm not actually fat, so this is perfect. My little mouse, even the skinniest people have a fat person inside of them. And we must shame them for this. And that leads to health. Well, before you get too ahead of yourself, Top Hat, you should know that I was a cop for years. That life is behind me now. I've done my time. What? No, I mean... No, I mean, I, as a cop, I had to work out, stay fit, you know, to catch crooks. So, <laughs> I know my way around a gym. Well, <laughs> That, that is also what I meant, <laughs> yes. So what are we doing? Uh, back? Arms? Free weights? Throw the old medicine ball around? We are starting with the most fundamental part of a workout. Protein powder! Chipotle! There's been a crime! Quickly, fat little mouse! My protein powder has been stolen! Ay, ay, ay! El es un muy criminales importante. Everybody stand back. Yes, move back, everyone. The fat mouse apparently needs extra room for his belly to clear. No, I mean stand back because this is a crime scene, okay? Much like your Spanish. Please, Senor Mappy, help me find my protein powder. I feel myself growing weaker already. I can only make one peck bounce. Oh, is this what that feels like? Will you please be quiet? I need to concentrate. I'm looking for clues. Hmm. <gasps> A lead. We can follow that trail. Uh, then there is no time to lose. Dig Dug, Dig Dug. Hey, did you see anyone run past here? carrying like a big jug of protein powder. I'd love to help you out, Mappy. Sorry, I've had my head down over at R&D, you know, rooting and drilling. Man, the things that science can root and drill these days, it's amazing. Looking for a man shaped like a very muscular bear. <laughs> We've got this new drill in the shop. It's called the Torquinator 3000. This thing will chew through granite faster than you can chew through a block of Swiss, my man. You get it? Yeah, I get it. I'm a fat I'm a mouse. I'm a fat mouse, and I just eat cheese all day. Just shoveling it in, because that's what fat people do. Are you happy? Okay, come by and see your drill later. Hey, you don't really think I'm fat, do you? No, 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 I don't think so. But you are according to the company handbook. Hey, Sky Kid! Whoa, 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 stop, stop, one second. Oh, oh. <laughs> hi, Mappy. Uh, I'm just finishing up a second workout. I don't care about that. Listen, you're the only person who was near the gym earlier. Did you see a bear or a bear-shaped man running off with protein powder? Hmm, a bear-shaped man? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> that sounds like quite a sight. Boy, I love working here. Just another day at Yamco. Always an adventure. Senor Mappy, that protein powder is very important to me. If we can't get it back in time, I'm afraid I'll bonk during my afternoon spin class. Don't worry, Top Hat. The trail hasn't gone cold yet. If nothing else, we can follow the spilled powder straight to the perpetrator. That is, if it doesn't run out before we get there. Then we can't afford to waste a single moment more on doors! Aha! 
I caught you brown-handed. What is this? Buff Bear, how could you do this to me? I did do it. You're doing it now. Do it what? You're eating the protein powder that you stole. Who is? You are. I was framed. Ow. Ow. Tostada, Ow. Buff Bear has been framed by the true criminal. Who did it? It was a bird. At your service. Oh. 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 Aha! Very clever, Mappy. A job well done. You did it. Just doing my job, Goro. And to be honest, I've solved much tougher cases. No, 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 that's not what I meant. I meant good work worming your way out of exercising, fatty. You know this is illegal, right? I could report you to HR. Mm -hmm. I do, and that's why I fired the HR department. Who are you going to report me to now, Mappy? Hmm? Remember, I'm always one step ahead. <laughs> Don't judge me. Attention all Nyamco employees named Mappy. Attention all Nyamco employees named Mappy. If your name is Mappy, please report to Goro's office immediately. If your name is not Mappy, you are not required to report to Goro's office at this time. Please, Mappy's only. <sighs> now what? And no talk back, mister. Hey, this better be good, Goro. I'm very busy. Mappy, I have grave news. But first, we must make sure we can't be heard. Initiating the sound wall. Ah! Mappy, I have grave news. What? What? I can't hear, I can't hear anything. Yes, I can hear you just fine. No, turn it off. Yes, it, yes, it's very effective. I had it installed yesterday. It's defective? What, detective? Oh, God, my ears. <laughs> yes, you have big ears, comically big ones. But that's not important right now. Mappy, we have a spy in our midst. What are you talking about, Goro? <laughs> I thought that would get your attention. Now you know how serious this is, huh? There's a corporate spy in this building, and you didn't even know it. What would a corporate spy want with Namco? Mind your own business. I can't tell you that now, can I, Mappy? That would be giving too much away. Goro, if there is a spy inside our building, then it is my business. I'm head of security. If you're head of security, then why is there a spy in our building? That doesn't sound like very effective security to me. Maybe I should fire you. Yeah, maybe you should. Look, I didn't hire you to pry into my affairs. Actually, you did hire me to pry into your affairs. That's a completely different set of affairs. <laughs> now get serious, Mappy. You have a lot of work to do if you're going to find this corporate spy. All right, let's get to business. Hold on. Someone should be taking notes for this important meeting. Where's my new assistant? Mappy, this is my new assistant, codename Albatross. She's from Chicago. You buzzed me, Mr. Goro? Yes, I did. We're about to have a very confidential meeting, and I need you to write down everything we say, because it could be important for later. Brilliant. Very well, Mr. Goro. Mappy, some of my employees reported documents stolen from their departments. I don't remember the specifics. It's all in my email. Let me log in and check. Username, Goro1. Password I L I K E T U N A. Albatross, are you writing all this down? <laughs> Absolutely, Mr. Goro. Where did you say you were from, Miss uh, Codename Albatross? Michigan. Thought it was Chicago. Yes, of course. 
Chicago, Michigan. Spend a lot of time doing assistant work out there? Oh, yes. I love it. Taking notes, filling out calendars, getting coffee, stealing corporate documents, booking travel. Oh, go back. What was that one you just said? Filling out calendars? No, after that. After that. Ah, booking travel. Before... Before booking travel, after filling out calendars. Uh, oh, <laughs> getting coffee. Mappy, stop hitting on my assistant and get out there and find that spy before they steal the entire building out from under us. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed just then. I'm very upset. Goro, I have something I need to say to you in private. Of course, Mappy. Albatross, would you wait outside? Of course, Mr. Goro. All the way outside, please. Outside. Outside of this room. Goro, I think maybe Albatross is the spy. Albatross? No. I'll be right back. Hey, 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 Mappy, Mappy. I was just coming to see you. I got a problem. Can I wait? I don't think so. I went down to the mail room to check and see if the latest issue of Diggers Monthly had come in. When I got back to my desk, my laptop was missing. And that laptop had some important stuff on there. How important? Very important. New R&D tech stuff. Stuff that I wouldn't know from a hole in the ground. Which is to say that I know it very well. Duggars, this is super importante. When exactly did the laptop go missing? <laughs> Hello, fellow Namgo employees. Anything I can assist you with today? She's good, right? Really on top of things around here. Really eager to help out. Hey, what happened to that binder I was carrying? I just had it. Oh, no. Can't have binders going missing. I'll go look for it. My spy training. Goro, the spy has got to be your new assistant, Albatross. Albatross? No. Mappy! Mappy, I need your help. What is it, Sky Kid? Well, huh, I had a lunch bag in the refrigerator clearly marked with my name. But when I checked the break room to have an afternoon snack, just a little pick-me-up, my lunch bag was gone. What was in the bag? Just dirt and worms, mostly. Hey, you don't think there's somebody else working here named Sky Kid, do you? And that maybe it was just some kind of innocent mix-up? Hm, gosh, now I feel bad having brought it up in the first place. <laughs> Darn it, no, that was my lunch. All someone has to do is ask me to share, and I'd do so very willingly. I'd hate to think some poor fellow forgot his own lunch and got so famished he made a bad decision. Oh, I don't have time for this right now, Sky Kid. The thing is, I wouldn't mind so much. It's just that that lunch bag had my favorite thermos in it. It was my granddad's from Bird War One. Oh my God! What? Ha! What do you know? It was right here all the time. <laughs> Silly old Sky Kid. Always something new. Mappy. Every second that corporate spy isn't caught, this company loses literally billions of dollars. And unless you're going to pay me back, I think you better take this more seriously. Goro, I'm ta- You have a new assistant whose first name is Codename. And she- He wears a ridiculous wig. And the day you hired her was the day things started going missing. Albatross is clearly the spy. Albatross? No. You're not going anywhere, Codename Albatross. What's your real name? Well played, Mappy. <laughs> my real name is Rapid Thunder. That's my real name. And you're right. I am a corporate spy. I was sent to Nyamko by none other than Goro. <laughs> Plot twist. Goro? But why? <laughs> well done, Mappy. You've uncovered the identity of our own corporate spy, who I've been training here before sending him out to spy on other companies. Clearly, we have a lot more training to do. <laughs> I don't know what upsets me more, Goro, that you're committing crimes of corporate espionage or that you wasted half my day. <laughs> Mappy, so long as you're upset, who cares why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, even in England, we laugh at these kinds of jokes. Hey, look on the bright side, Mappy. You did recover my stolen lunch. It wasn't stolen. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Mm. 
Map, map, map. Hey, Dig Dug, what's up? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking to you. I was trying to get my smartphone to open this maps application. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were trying to get my attention. No, I was just saying map because I'm excited about this new app I got. I got a road trip to plan. Map. Map. Map, Mappy, hey, hello. Now I'm trying to get your attention. What? Can't you see I have a ton of work to do? Yeah, no kidding. You always have a ton of work to do. You're always working. And that's why your life is so sad and pedantic, which is a new word I just learned. <sighs> Please. Hey, Mappy, listen. I'm worried about you. It's all about the work-life balance. Unfortunately, work is my life, and that's been the balance. <laughs> you gotta find a way to let loose, buddy. If you don't, all that stress starts to build up and you just inflate and you inflate until you explode. My uncle knows all about that stuff. He's a proctologist. Do you think I want to live like this? Do you think I like being the security guard for all of Niamco? Being the first and last line of defense for this company? I don't know what I'm supposed to do! Just take a day. You put a note on your door, it says cut and loose on it. That's it. That's the note on my door right now. <sighs> Easy for you to say, I can't just cut loose. Goro watches me like a cat. If I take any vacation time, he's gonna tan my tail for sure. That's not true, Mappy. Did you notice Goro's parking space this morning? No, why? Did the guy from Splatterhouse double park his Civic behind it? I've already ticketed him. He's just gonna keep doing it! No, that guy's not there. And neither is Goro. His parking space is empty. He's not here today. Didn't you think it was a little quiet around here? Hmm. Guess I have been smiling a lot this morning. Now I'm about to apply even more friend leverage. I bought us two tickets to the Wonder Momo concert in Bandai City. And the show is tonight. <gasps> oh, Wonder Momo's my favorite. I know. Tonight? Yep. What time? It's like a six hour drive with Bandai City. We'll never make it. We'll make it if we leave right now. We're cut and loose. We're cut and loose. Yeah. Cut and loose. Cut and loose. Cut and loose. Cut and loose. Whoa. Too loose. Tighten it up a little bit. Let's cut it loose with a road trip. Trip. Road trip with my buddy Dig Dug. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> ah, road trip. Ah, you know, this feels like a good idea. Two friends tripping the road. Come on, Mappy, you know me. I only have good ideas. Remember when I, uh... You remember when, uh... Remember when I had all those good ideas that one time? <laughs> That's so mean. Man, I can't remember the last time I took a day off. When was that? I think my parents were there. Yeah, they were. It was my grandmother's funeral. Buried me, Mom. Well, look, don't, don't think about that. Don't, that's a bad memory. Don't think about it. Today, today, live in the now. Today you're hitting the road with your best bud. My best bud. Best bud. Best bud. Best bud. Oh, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Dig Dug. This is what happens when I try to get away from my responsibilities. I get taught a lesson. I get taught a lesson right in my face. Yeah, well, it's definitely a flat. Uh, okay, so this, uh, it's still fine. I mean, technically, it's still a road trip. We're too far out in the desert. I can't get any cell phone coverage out here. You're going to have to go dig for help. Wait, wait, what do you mean? You know, go dig for, you have to go, you know, go dig for help. You got to go get help. What do you mean? I, I don't understand. Why would I dig Like, for you know, like... Dig to a gas station. Go do super fast dig to go get someone to come help us. D no, dig. my digging is not super fast. That, you know what? That is so typical. I am not a cartoon rabbit. Digging is hard work. I gotta push this drill through solid rock. And it's not faster than walking. In fact, I'm pretty sure digging is slower than walking. You're not sure? It's very dark down there. Hey. Dig, Doug. Look up. Oh, oh, friend birds. Hey, hey, down here, help! Mappy, come on, help me. Help me get some of those birds down here so we can fly them to safety. Doug, those are vultures. They're waiting for us to die so they can eat our carcasses. They're gonna be up there a long time because no one's dying today, not on my watch. <laughs> 
Hey, did you bring anything to eat or drink? No, of course not. Man, this was the wrong week to start that cleanse. I've only been eating lemon juice, cinnamon, and maple syrup for six days. Oh, Dig Dug, that can't be good for you. I'm gonna die, but at least I'm gonna die with the sweetest six-pack you've ever seen. Ooh. Dig Dug, you're not gonna die. You're gonna have to eat me to survive. And with this washboard right down here, you're gonna be feasting for days. I'm envious. Let me tell you what, this is some choice meat. Panicking isn't gonna help. I'm sure that if we just sit here, a car will come by within the next hour. Mmm. What are you eating? It's a sandwich. You get it? Wait a second. I forgot. I have a big bottle of water with me. <laughs> nope. That wasn't water. That was a bottle of Crystal Pepsi that's been in my car for 25 years. No! No! I'm a cop! I should be able to fix this! I placed my thirst under arrest. I just wanted to see a concert with my friend. You've got to live. You've got to live! So you can tell everyone how brave I was. Wait. Look. Look in the distance. Is that... Is that Sky Kid? Hey, Mappy! It's me, Sky Kid, and I'm here to help. Gosh, it sure is a powerful warm day. And I've got watermelon and... What's your favorite drink? I don't know. Cheese juice? I guess that's milk. If I'd sell for a Fresca, they still make tab? Well, I got them all, friend. You just come closer. Okay. Uh, don't do it, Mappy. That's just a mirage. It's just trying to trick you. Damn it, Sky Kid! You're not even helpful as a mirage! Goodness, Goodness me. me! My intent was never to a fan. Sorry for being a mirage, guys. I messed up again. Gosh! Can't seem to get anything right. <laughs> Silly old Sky Kid. Oh, you're so stupid, Sky Kid. I sure am. Well, you kids have fun. I'm gonna go home. Oh wait. oh, wait, I don't exist. exist. Ah! Tig Tug, buddy, you gotta do me one last solid. I need you to dig my grave and then bury me in it. That's a fitting tribute to my friend. Anything for you, brother. Wait a minute. Dig Tug, that's it. Digging. Can you dig straight down right now and bring us back a puka? I've got an idea. Oh, so you think I could just... I can just pick anywhere to dig and find a puka right away. Can't you? Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Puka don't have any natural predators. They eat what they want. They go where they want. They live in your walls. We gotta get rid of these puka guys. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. But I stopped the Stratomen, and the queen is finally back with her people. Oh, and here's that pookie you wanted. What happened down there? I guess we'll find out in episode five. Ah, finally made it. What time is it? Maybe we can catch an encore or something. Oh, no, there's no way. We're way too late. We missed the whole concert. Oh, what a waste of a day. I'm sorry, buddy. You know what? You wanted to get me out of the office? You wanted to teach me to cut loose? That's exactly what happened. We had quite an adventure today, and I'd call that a success. Now let's see if anyone around here knows where we can find a mechanic. Excuse me, sir! Uh, we have to fix a tire. Do you know if there's a- Huh? g g g g goro I didn't see you and you didn't see me. Uh, a deal. A 
Attention all Nyamco employees, this is your Chief Executive Officer Goro. Spring cleaning time is upon us once again and I know you're all excited to make the Nyamco offices spick and span. Seriously everyone, this place is a real mess. Thankfully overseeing our tidying up is our faithful janitor, the Prince. If you see him rolling his katamari, give a friendly wave and a smile, okay? <laughs> I guess this place is looking a little messy. I'd better see when the prince is scheduled to take care of my office. What the what? Oh, this is worse than I thought. Hey, Dig Dug? Hey, hello, this is Dig Dug's office. This is Dig hey. Dug speaking. How can I take care of you today? Oh, hey, it's Mappy. It's me. It's your buddy Maps. Hey, Mappy, I'm trying out a new uh, uh, greeting on my uh, when I answer the phone. You want me to call you back? Yeah, let me let me try it again. Okay. Boop. Hi, this is Dig Dug. How can I improve your Dig Dug experience today? Hey, buddy, trash is piled really high outside my door, and I cannot get it open. Can you can you dig me out of here? No problem. I was made to do this. This is my job. I'm gonna get you out there in a jiff. I just gotta just gotta find my drill. Where's my drill? Uh, is it on your back? God, this place is so disorganized around spring cleaning. I... Did you check your Did you check your back? It's not there. I'm right now. I'm looking around my office, and I feel like ah. Uh, because usually, like... usually it's strapped right on to, on your back. Well, usually I do keep it on my back, but I'm telling you. Okay, I just found it. Where was it? Uh, it doesn't matter. What? Was it on your back? I can't hear you. I'm going through a tunnel. You're always going through a tunnel. <laughs> Whew. Happy, it is so bad out there. It looks like somebody emptied a dollar store out in the hallway. Ain't much better in here, buddy. It looks like a hobo exploded. Where in the hell is the prince? Hey, did you did you call him? Did you give him a ring? Yeah, that's a good idea. What extension is he again? I don't remember, and I don't know where the directory is. So just just dial zero. Does that work in here? You can just press zero. Yeah, I thought that that got you to the operator. Do I? Okay, so do I press nine first and then zero, or is it just zero? Okay, so dial nine, comma zero. There's no, but there's no comma on a phone. Oh, you don't have commas on your phone? <laughs> I got the new Smam Smung. It's chock full of comms. This phone is like 80% commas. It is hot. Hello, is the prince there? <coughs> yeah, it's the prince speaking. Hey, prince, this is Mappy. We've got a five alarm trash emergency up here on 7th. You need to bring your Katamari ball around like pronto. What? Dude, I ain't at the office. I took a sick day. I am straight up dying right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what do you have? Gee, I don't know. You think maybe uh, I picked up a joint or some bacteria rolling around in trash all day? Hey, I'm sorry. Spring cleaning's today and you're only now finding out I'm gone? Is anyone pushing the catamari around? No. This is bad. This is real bad. Trash piles up at Namco like you wouldn't believe. I left my catamari ball in the janitor's closet. You can roll that around yourself, okay? It's pretty easy to use, you just give it a push. Somebody better get on that thing fast before everyone dies from trash poisoning. Whew. Uh, our, um, all right. Hey, listen. If you run into any trouble, just give the old prince a call. Also, don't call me. I'm seriously ill. Let me sleep and good luck. All right, well, get well. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Prince out. Hey, you prince out too, my man. You're an idiot. Hey, hey, what do you say? Only we can save Niemco. I need you to get me down to the janitor's closet as fast as you can. No problem, Mappy. Let's do this. Where's my drill? All right, the prince said he left it somewhere in this office. Ah, here it is. Now, I can't believe that the prince got sick on spring cleaning day of all days. That guy, I tell you what, he lives to roll things up. I'm going to be honest with you. He did not sound too crazy about it when I talked to him. That's a shame. It's a bummer when you don't love your job. Hey, can you haul that katamari out on your own? Because my arms are killing me from this stupid heavy drill. I hate this thing. Well, looks easy enough. I guess you just uh, put it down and give it a push? That's weird. Uh, maybe you didn't push it right. How many ways are there to push something? Well, if, if, since it's a ball, it's a sphere, uh, technically there's an infinite number of ways you could push it. Thanks, Mr. Wizard. Do you check if it's on first. Uh oh, does it, is the, do katamari balls need to be turned on? Yeah, I mean, probably, I would imagine. And it's not going to drill by itself. It's not a drill. Well, okay, it's not a drill, but you know what I mean. Maybe it's got like an indicator on the side or something so you know when to change the drill bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe you were right the first time. Maybe there's just the right way to push it. How does the prince do it? I just remember him rolling it around the office, just whistling and humming a cheerful tune. Are you sure he doesn't like his job? He seems like he loves Wait it. Wait a minute, that's it. Dig Dug, the song. Maybe this Katamari only works when you sing to it. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Let's try it. 
I gotta roll this ball, I'm gonna roll it all night long. Let's pick up that stuff. Turn on the catamaran, get the ball rolling. That's not. No, 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 wait, that's my song. That's my song. Wait, which song? That's Mappy. Oh, right. No, oh, uh, uh, hold on. I got it, I got it. Roll it, roll it tonight. I gotta pick up this trash or I'm gonna lose my job. No, 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 no Look, that's it. It's we're doing it. It's working. The catamari is working. <laughs> Mappy, where? Mappy, get out of the way. Let me try. Let me try. I want to push. Then go. Let me push the ball. Oh! Ding dong! Mappy! Ding dong! Mappy! Don't let go of the ball! I can't let go. I'm stuck to it. Oh, thank you. Now there's a good attitude. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Shut up, Sky Kid. Oh. My cover's been blown. You're not fooling anybody. I'm not really here. I'm a kitty cat. Meow. I'm stuck to this thing. Can you, uh, I can't believe I'm suggesting this. Can you drill yourself off? <sighs> if I knew where it was. Oh, uh, wait a minute. It's on my back. I... I can't reach it, though. Get me down, Mappy. Uh, uh, I don't want to touch you. What if I get stuck, too? <laughs> well, okay, thanks. Uh, I guess I live on here now. Somebody roll up a futon. Just try. I brace myself. I'm just using my natural digging strength. Uh, you know what? I get that the prince hates his job. I hate his job. Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Must have been from Albatross's desk. Operation Secret Operation Omega Sauce. That sounds ominous. Goyle's planning a huge crime. He told me so. Maybe this is a clue to what he's up to. D Dig Dug, what the sh Sorry, my man. Touch it again. I couldn't help it. Whew. That was a lot of work. But I think we did pretty good. Yeah, you know what, Mappy? We did. This is a job fit for a king. Or a prince. <laughs> no, I don't want to ever do this again. This is a whole... Now what are we supposed to do with this thing? It's huge. Uh, oh, oh, oh. No, Mappy, I'm going to die and I've never kissed a girl. Beautiful, isn't it? Nah, I, I think my drill is up there. Good morning, Nyamco employees. I wanted to offer a special thank you to each of you for paying such close attention to your work. You've all been so diligent, especially last night when you were paying such close attention to your work that you failed to notice a major theft occurred in our personnel department. Why is this the first I've heard of it? I'm head of security. I know this is the first some of you are hearing this. Even our head of security, Mappy. I expected him to stay on top of things happening within Nyamko's walls, but apparently he was so busy being a good security guard that he forgot to be a good security guard. Oh, boy. Mappy, report to personnel immediately. Goro, how come no one from personnel reported this crime to me? I'm the first person to contact in case of a burglary in the building. Because, Mappy, because. This burglar was very crafty, very clever indeed. <laughs> There's no evidence a safe is even missing. No security camera footage, no fingerprints, no signs of break-in. Then how do we even know it was stolen? Because the safe is gone. No one even knew it was missing until someone tried to rest their coffee cup in their usual spot on top of the safe. Hmm. There's gotta be some evidence. 
I'll get right on this, Goro. We'll have the thief sooner than you think. Oh, I'm sure we'll have the thief sooner than you think, Mappy. I'm not sure I can trust you with a job like this, seeing as how you've already mishandled a job like this. What? Because the safe is missing, and I have to assume it's not on company property, I had to contact the police to conduct an investigation. You know I can handle this on my own, Goro. You didn't even give me a chance. One chance is too many chances for you on this one, Mappy. <laughs> that safe is very important to the future of Nyamco. What was in the safe? Valuables? Private information? Company secrets? Who had access to it? Don't worry about it, Mappy. It's not your problem anymore. All right, what's going on here? Ha <laughs> clear path. Police. Official police business. Heads up, civilians. Real police. Getting stuff done. 10-4. Cops. Handcuffs. Richard and Keith, the time crisis guys, they sent you? Well, 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 well. Look what we have here. Mappy from the Micro Police. I didn't realize anyone was dumb enough to give you a badge again. <laughs> I was dumb enough to give him a badge again. Mappy works for me. Nice. How's it feel being a rent cop short stack? UTCPD clowns think you're such great police officers. What happened to me could have happened to anyone. Yeah, good thing it didn't happen to anyone. You were the only nobody to shoot up a priceless painting, ruining your stellar career. Well, if I had a stellar career, then I wasn't a nobody. All right, so can't use both in the same insult. Nope, it was a good burn. I backed my man Keith. I know, right? Hot burn, sizzle them. Patented Keith sizzle. <laughs> Keith, you're killing it today. Look at this guy. I'm crazy about my partner. Right back at you, bud. Partners for life. Cool cops who always win and never die. Ugh. You two are the same big jerks you were back in the old days. Yeah, but that's the right word, huh? Big jerks. Bigger than you. Micro police. <laughs> Ooh, ouch, Richard. Coming alive. Yeah, I guess you're not the only one who can sling the heat, huh? I, hold on a second. I'm out of insults. Reload. Got it. Someone bring Mappy some ointment, right? A healing set! <laughs> yeah, he's a dumb mouse, right? He's not a real cop like us. I could listen to these two go on for hours. <laughs> Mappy, don't you have something better to work on? Like guarding some stupid company's loser building? It's your company and your building. I know that, but I'd say anything to get in goods with these two cool guys. <laughs> hey, Mappy. Why the long face? Uh... Good morning, Mappy. Sure is a great day to work here at Yamco. Always a treat and a half. <sighs> hey, Mappy, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the matter, Map? You look like a mouse who just learned he was lactose intolerant. Scoro, there was a burglary last night, and now a safe is missing. There's no security footage, no witnesses, no signs of a break in. Goro won't let me touch the case. But that's what you do best. You solve crimes and you bust heads. He called in the two guys from Time Crisis to work this one. Oh, Mappy. That's got a sting. Goro's my nemesis. The only reason he hired me was to play this sick cat and mouse game with me. Forever. Maybe... Maybe it's time for me to hang it up. Admit to myself and everyone. I'm no cop. I can't catch him at his own game. But, uh, Mappy, no. You, you live for being a cop. You can't give this up now. Dig Dug, we, we could quit. We could quit together and, and start that band we always talked about in high school. What band are you... Oh, boy. Mappy, you don't mean Big Map. Big Map and the Boogie Beat Fiends. Wow, wow. Mappy, you are going down some dark holes today. Come on, man. Beat nights. Hot. Loving in our cups. Two friends forever. Eesh, what got into the kid? I ain't seen that kind of miserable in a long time. And yes, I do own a mirror. I don't know, Prince, but if Mappy doesn't solve that crime, he's done for. How's our investigation going, officers? <laughs> so the safe was right here, huh? Yes, according to the employee who closed up last night, it was. Well, we better crouch down, get a closer look. Can, can you, uh... We're trying to crouch down here, just... If you just hit that pedal. Oh! Hmm. There's really no sign of that safe. You two are the finest police on the force, and this little burglary has you stumped? First time for everything. Frankly, I don't think there was even ever a safe here. The only crisis in this room is a crisis of deductive competence. Nailed it. Whoa, beat it, squirt. Real cops handling this crime. You know, I ran into Dick Dog earlier and started thinking. 
If there's no evidence the safe left, then maybe it never did. But the safe is clearly gone, Mappy. Where could it be? Maybe the safe stole itself. Whoa, okay. No one told us that was possible. The drill's usually not on the bottom of a safe. Eliminate the impossible. Whatever left is true. Ah, Sherlock Holmes, nice. Actually, it's lyrics from my high school garage band, Big Map and the Boogie Beat Fiends. Well, that's solved. Case closed. Good job, everybody. Back to work. Doro, now I know Dig Dug didn't put a drill on that safe. So what's your game? What game? It's my company safe, my drill, my property. Looks like there wasn't a crime committed after all. The cat's right. No victim, no crime. Perfect record. <laughs> Pack it in, Rich. You know, Keith, we did it again. But hey, nice detective work there, Mappy. If you ever need a job, give us a call. We'll put in a good word for you at Time Crisis. Oh, wow, really? That'd be great. I, I hate working here. I'm ready to leave. Well, I... I, I was just being nice. I, I oh, I, I knew you were kidding. <laughs> Please get me out of these f***ing offices. Attention, Yamco employees. This is your chief executive officer, Goro. Just a reminder that your expense reports are due to be put in the garbage. Pay for those lunches and taxi rides yourselves. This isn't a charity, you know. <laughs> And another thing, accounting has informed me some of you are double dipping when it comes to chicken nuggets in the commissary downstairs. Employees are not allowed to take more than one dipping sauce. Ah! 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 Help! Help! Security! Mappy, help me! Goro? Goro! Goro, what happened? What's wrong? Uh, I saw something. It scurried under my desk. It, I felt it run over my foot. Uh, uh. Don't tell me you're suddenly afraid of mice. <laughs> There's only one mouse you should be afraid of, and that's my dad. Whenever he came home late smelling like- Mappy, stop fooling around and get whatever it is out of here before it crawls up someone's leg. Oh boy. What? What is it? We've got ninjas. Ninjas? In my building? This is completely unacceptable. I had this whole building sprayed for ninjas earlier this year. Well, that was money well spent. Uh, if you see one ninja, it means you got a hundred. They're probably in the walls. Mappy, I consider this a security matter of the highest priority. I can't have highly trained shadow assassins rummaging around in our waste baskets. Ah! Ah! Shoo! Get out of here, little ninjas! Are you okay, Sky Kid? Mappy, you gotta help me. My office is swarming with ninjas. One of them kicked over my nest and just laughed at me before disappearing in a puff of smoke. I mean, that's just rude. Oh man, they're everywhere. We're infested. Well, you gotta do something. Look at the mess they're making. Ooh, Sky Kid, you've got Ninja Stars stuck in your back. Oh, is that what stings so bad? I thought it was just my trick shoulder acting up again. <laughs> well, that's a relief, I guess. Mappy, I'm officially making this your problem. You had better deal with this, and fast! What am I supposed to do about it? You're supposed to do your job, Mappy. Get to it, and protect our company! Alright, I'm reluctant to pull a piece on Yamco property, but extraordinary times call for extraordinary... But what is this? We're a peaceful company, Mappy. I can't exactly have you run around an office building with a loaded gun. That's a 50 cal standard issue help horn. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Well, you don't seem to be very good at the security business, are you, Mappy? <laughs> ah! Mappy, you're my best friend! Help me! <laughs> You are truly versed in a skill most ninja fear. 
making sounds. What exactly do you want with Niamco? This is a place of some kind of business. What does Niamco even do? Don't worry about it. It's not important. We are from the Ninja Assault Clan. One of our senseis felt the presence of a mystical ninja weapon here. A great treasure of ancient legend, which was stolen from us long ago. With it, any ninja could rule the world. <laughs> and what makes you think it's here in this office building? <laughs> because this building was the recent site of an archaeological dig. It sparked our curiosity. Our master wisely sent us to investigate. Aha! The prophecies. The prophecies were true. The mystical ninja weapon of ancient legend. A weapon which makes its wielder unstoppable. That treasure was found on Nyamco property and by all rights belongs to me. It was lost to us many, many moons ago. Twi Twenty moons ago. That's not... that's 20 months. That's not even two years ago. Hey! It's dangerous being a ninja, okay? One year is like seven ninja years. Now enough of this! With this magic power, the Ninja Assault Clan shall hold dominion over the entire Earth! <laughs> Yono Tenki Desune! Where is the treasure? This chest is empty. You didn't think I'd be stupid enough to leave it in there, did you? <laughs> now, witness the full power of my ninjutsu mastery. Forged by the gods themselves. It's a shotgun. Imagine being able to end your foes at a distance without even unsheathing your blade. It's a gun. It's a martial art that has been lost to time until now. The power to kill with the mere flick of a finger! Oh, I don't know about that, Mr. Ninja. I think the real martial art lost to time is compassion for one's fellow man. You're so concerned about ruling the world and ending your foes at a distance, you forgot all about something else you can do at a distance. Change the world one life at a time by simply donating an extra weekend or two at a homeless shelter. And that's what- <laughs> Because it's the children that are... Thank you. Yeah, much appreciated. Now, make yourself scarce, ninjerks! <laughs> uh, I am in awe of how quickly you've already mastered the sacred forms. You may have perverted the secrets of the ages to your whim. Still a shotgun. And caused nature herself to weep at your hubris. He put a hole in the wall with a little buckshot. It's not a big... Anyone can do that. It's not... No no training required. But may the ancient curse of the Ninja Assault Clan be upon you in your precious Nyamco office park. From the highest floor to the lowest sub-basement. What about the parking lot? All the way out to the fire hydrants near the covered mailboxes. Cursed! All of it cursed! The cafe is double cursed. <laughs> okay, so we're ninja cursed now. You happy? Was that worth it? All for a stupid shotgun? It's the principle of the thing. If I let everyone walk off with Nyamco pens, stationery, shotguns, pencils, we'd be out of business in a week. You give a ninja an inch, he'll take a mile. Nine times out of ten. So, did you really mean what you said back there? What? When? Back when the ninjas were attacking, you said... You said I was your best friend and that I had to help protect you. <laughs> oh, Mappy, you clearly misheard. What I said was, you're my bed's French. You said I'm your bed's French. Mm-hmm. Okay, Goro. Whatever you say. That's right, Mappy. Whatever I say goes, because I'm the boss. Now get back to work. I love you. Did you just say? Nope. <laughs> Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Mm. <laughs> 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 
pom 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 Kind of slammed right now, Goro. I have a ton of security tapes to go over. It'll only take a minute. <sighs> okay, what is it? Great. Attention, Mappy. Please report to my office immediately for something that should only take a minute. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Waiting on you, buddy. Uh, why couldn't you just tell me whatever you were going to tell me in my office? Because, Mappy, my chair and my desk aren't in your office for me to address you authoritatively behind. <laughs> mm, fair enough. <laughs> Mappy, we have an important guest visiting the Nyamco office park, so take care not to disturb his research today. As far as I'm concerned, he has full access to the Nyamco offices, do you hear me? Carte blanche, blank check. Uh, excuse me, but uh, carte blanche goes against every single security protocol I've set up. Yes, yes, but for good reason. Allow me to introduce the famed archaeologist and action hero, Dr. Indy Borgnine. Borgnine? Nice meeting you. But Dr. Borgnine was my father. So my friends just call me Indiano for short. How is that short? Indiano is the same length as... It's just a cute nickname we use. What does it mean? It means we don't get sued. This whole thing is a legal minefield. To be safe, just call me Dr. Borgnine. And my research has led me to believe that there's an important historical artifact buried somewhere here, beneath the Nyamco office park. Mm, yes, an artifact possibly worth untold millions. It could be priceless, but it belongs in a museum. You mean a museum? Don't say that word, it's trademark. Well, regardless, so long as you keep out of restricted security areas of the building, we won't have a problem. I suggest you limit your search to the Courtyard Break Room and the Nyamco Gift Shop. I hear they've got some real treasures in there. Sorry, kid. No telling where the artifact could be. Might be under the building itself. More than likely, I'm gonna have to dig. You called? No one called you, Dig Dug. My drill was burning. Oh, great. That's the last thing I need. Some short round guy interfering with my dig site. Short and round. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Round Short. You know, it'd make more sense if you just called them short. Da, 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 da. Trademarked. Hey, uh, listen, pal. No offense, but if there's digging to be dug, then I'm the dug to dig it. I'll dig. I'm the dig man. You got the right attitude, kid. But leave it to an expert. I've been working around digs since 1986. 86? <laughs> I've been digging since 82, according to Wikipedia. Dig Dug, you don't have the level of archaeological expertise required to handle the excavation of a priceless historical artifact. Dr. Borgnine has permits with gold foil stamps on them. You can't fake that. See? That's right on there. So steer clear of them, or I'll have you working the night shift with stupid Mappy. Hey! Hey, I'd love working the night shift with Mappy. He's my stupid best friend. Hey! If there's treasure beneath Nyamco, I'm gonna be the one to find it. So may the best digger win. <laughs> Good luck, kid. <sighs> the nerve of that guy. He walks into my house, he tells my boss that he's the best digger in the world. That guy can go bygar himself. Whoa! Ooh, dig dug, I've never heard you swear like that. Hey, I'm sorry. It's just that my honor's on the line here, man. You know? Yeah, mine too. I can't let this guy run around the building with full access. He could be up to something dangerous. Or in cahoots with Goro. We've got to get to that treasure first, buddy. Now, Borgnine looked like he had a map and a plan of attack. So I think what we should do is probably... <laughs> Dig oh boy! Here we go, Adventure Bay! <laughs> yes! 600 points. Whew, thanks, buddy. That puka saved my life. Yeah, they are truly nature's airbags. Okay. Let's get exploring. All right, all right, but listen, let me go first. These tunnels are very dangerous, and I don't need you setting off any tra uh, traps. Ooh, Whoa. dig that. Ooh, oh. 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 Ah. I'm gonna die, and I've never moved out of my mother's house. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who makes a square boulder? Oh, round boulders are trademarked. Mappy, watch your step. Darts, get down. Uh, don't worry, Mappy. I will suck out the poison. I got you covered, buddy. No sucking! Let me die! No, oh, these are just foam darts. 
Dig Dug. Dig Dug, a trap. The floor's opening up. Whoa, oh, quick, quick. We gotta dig up. What does that even mean? Ah! Huh. This pit's like six inches deep. They must have run out of money. Huh? Whoa. Oh, snakes. Uh, Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, oh, I wouldn't worry too much about these snakes. They're made of latex. I, I, I'm, I'm mildly allergic to latex. No! Seriously? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be itching for like 20 minutes. Damn these death traps! <sighs> well, thank God all the really dangerous traps are trademarked. I mean, we could have been killed down here. Yeah. I wonder how Dr. Borgnine is doing. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Mm. A little help? Oh, oh God, geez. that looks like it hurt. It's actually, oh. <laughs> feels worse than it looks. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Spikes have been in the public domain since the 1800s. <laughs> Some digging expert, huh? It's a little... It's okay. uh, I'd suggest we bury him, but technically he already is. <laughs> is that too soon? No. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. What? Trapped under the building? Oh well. I guess we'll never know if there was an ancient artifact worth millions of dollars buried under our building. And I guess we should all just forget this ever happened and never talk about it again, ever again. <laughs> But... Everyone out of my office right now. Don't you have work to do? You better leave now or you're both fired. Mm -hmm. Is nobody going to admit that I'm the best digger in the world? All right, you're the best digger in the world. Now get out. All I needed to hear, I'm the best digger in the world. I'm happy to hear that. I'm the best digger in the world. I heard I can hear you laughing maniacally. No, you can't. Pew, pew, pew. you to worry about anything. I know we had a little excitement recently, what with the ninja assault clan invading our office park and placing us under a curse, but... <laughs> Why did I even bring that up? It's so stupid. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't worry about anything. Just go back to work. <laughs> Come in. Oh, hey, Mappia. I was just walking past your office and... Wondering if maybe I should make a report of some things going on around Yamco. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Sky Kid, what is it? Uh, it's just that I don't want to start any trouble, and... You know what? It's like Goro said. Everything's fine. I shouldn't worry about anything and just go back to work. Sky Kid, if you see something, say something. I know it's a slogan for that gross burger place on the street, but it's just good sense. Well... Okay, if you're sure, I don't want anybody to go to any extra trouble for silly old Sky Kid. Let me be the judge of that. It's my job. Well, I've been hearing some odd noises in the hallways. Okay, odd noises? Like what? Oh, you know, just some moaning and groaning and your average howl of the tormented dead. It sounded to me like restless old spirits, longing for the final relief of sweet oblivion. What? Are you serious? No, forget it. I just knew I was making a fuss over nothing. It was probably just the wind. Uh, that doesn't sound just like the wind, though. Ha <laughs> I'm probably just being a big old fraidy cat. I guess old Sky Kid's got himself jumping at shadows again. <laughs> well, I probably. We have a message for the one named Gorham. Ah! This place has been cursed by 1,000 angry spirits. 
please meet our spectral courier at Loading Dock B. Uh, <laughs> Phew. Uh, Sky Kid, was that real? Gosh, Mappy, I think you better do like my mouth saying. Right. Loading Dock B. Uh, you go rogue? Mm, no, but I work for him. Uh, let's see, you uh, got the... Uh, so you're expecting a thousand angry spirits? Does anyone ever answer yes to that? Uh, nope. But it says here it was uh, sent by the Ninja Assault Clan, uh, COD. It's cursed on delivery. Do you really expect me to sign for that? Look, Mac, I know I got the right place. You know I got the right place. You can either sign for it, or I can sign it for you. That is illegal, and you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> legal. <laughs> what are you gonna do, report me? I'm a government employee! Mappy, Mappy, I just saw a non-zero number of ghosts. Non-zero is too high for ghosts. I know, and it's all Goro's fault. He meddled in forces unknowable to cat kind. <laughs> Hauntings are way above my pay grade. Even if we had a power pellet, this is way too many ghosts to eat. Goro, do you have any idea what's going on down there? You upset those ninjas and now the building is cursed. <laughs> I don't have the faintest idea what you're talking about, Mappy. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> it's just been business as usual around here. <laughs> but Goro... Everything's fine. I'm afraid this place is cursed. Uh, 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 oh, God. <laughs> Christ. Get the out of me. I said I'm afraid this place is cursed, but I can help. My name is Tarasuke from Shadowland. Shadowland? What kind of demonic plane of existence is that? No, I mean Shadowland Middle School. Uh, strange little boy. Are you saying you'd really be able to lift the curse? Not that I'm saying there is one. <laughs> ah, yes. I've dealt with these very spirits before. Took care of them in many places I did. Let me help you. Cleanse this place before it's too late. Uh, this place is too dangerous for a kid. I'm calling your parents. Well, Mappy, what if this boy is our only hope? I know he's kind of creepy, but I don't have the faintest idea how to undo a ninja curse. Oh. All right, kid, but don't work too hard at it. We don't need another child labor lawsuit. These ghosts will trouble you no more once I'm through with them. I'm here to cleanse this place and give it peace. Oh, what the hell? Oh, ah, what is that? No, no, stop it. Oh, God. I'm going to be scarred for the rest of my nine lives. Oh, not this kid again. Make him stop. Uh, you know him? I is what he's doing driving you away? Yeah, but not because it's magic or anything. It just, that kid gives us the creep. He always finds us, and always pulls this act. Ugh. This is a place of calm and peace. This goes on for like 20 minutes. Look, if you get him out of here, we promise to leave. Yeah, do something. Oh, how am I supposed to get him out of here? <laughs> With all this excitement, I almost forgot. Has anybody seen my stapler? <gasps> the trap, one! Oh, 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 oh. oh, Supreme Lord of Ghosts, how can we ever repay you? Now, 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 not this Lord of Ghosts nonsense again. You must be confused. I'm just regular, everyday, silly old Sky Kid. <laughs> just Sky Kid. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's over with. That'll teach me never to cross the Ninja Clan with arcane powers again. <laughs> Goro, I can't help but feel that you never really learn anything when this stuff goes down. <laughs> How can I? Everything always seems to work out okay. My life contains no teachable moments. <laughs>
Oh, hey, Sky Kid, I, I found your stapler. It was just under your desk where I was hiding. <laughs> there it is. I'm always in some kind of silly little jam. Classic Sky Kid. <laughs> Good morning, Yamco employees. What a beautiful morning, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Back to work. So what are you saying, Mappy? You think Goro stole the artwork from all the museums in the city? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. That's exactly what I'm saying. He must have stolen all the artwork and I'm going to figure out how he pulled it off. That's all this mouse wants for Christmas. Mappy, you know I got your back. If we're digging for clues, it's in my name. And if we're sniffing around, I'm changing my name to Sniff Snuff. It's gonna take every ounce of police know-how to bag Goro. But I- oh, uh, uh, Mappy, uh, Dig Dug, enjoying this lovely day at Nyamco? Uh, yeah, Goro, it's mm -hmm. fine. You bet. I wonder if it's just the holiday season. I can't remember the last time I was in such a good mood. It might have been even that day in the mansion when you disgraced yourself by accidentally destroying that painting, Mappy. <laughs> hey, not cool, Goro. I was there that day, and Mappy cried a lot. No, I didn't, and it's been so long that I have no idea what any of you are talking about, so who cares? I don't care. It was back in the 80s, Mappy, when I used to steal paintings from mansions. There was a flashback to it in the first episode. I've got a lot of work to do, Goro, so I hope you just keep... Having a great day. I will. In fact, I think I'll take an extra long lunch so I can browse and admire... my lunch. Man, you're right, Mappy. He must be up to something. Does he have a new girlfriend? What? No, I, I, just, I just never noticed how much cologne he wears. Ugh. I think Goro's been working on a new technology. A safe that steals itself. And I think he's using Namco money to do it. You think I would have heard something coming down the rumor mill if that was the case? What with me working for R&D and all. What do they have you building there anyway? Hey, it's confidential, dude. Let's just say it involves my specific expertise. Drilling. Applied to a real-world scenario. Drilling. Involving the transport of nondescript cargo through geological strata via a sophisticated drill. <laughs> Very clever. You almost got me to say drill. Dig Dug, don't you get it? He's using you to build drills that attach to safes so they can move stolen goods through the ground to another location. But the question is... Who's working on the safes? Oh, hey, you mappy. Dig Dug. Beat it, Sky Kid. We don't have time to look for your stapler or your bag of worms today. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I'll be having that problem ever again. I'm keeping everything in one of the safes I helped develop. What? That's what you do here at Namco? Sure. I guess with my knowledge of nesting and feathery softness, I know an awful lot about keeping fragile objects safe when they're getting jostled around. Why, just last month, Yamco signed a huge contract with a bunch of local businesses, selling them dozens and dozens of archival storage systems. What kind of businesses? Oh, museums mostly. Shame about the theft. They must not have installed those safes in time. Oh, well, see you, Mappy. Everyone working here has been used by Goro. He purposefully staffed his company with morons as some part of his sick game. Uh, Mappy, I'm not a lawyer, but... Isn't all of this circumstantial? Yeah. Goro wouldn't be acting that smug if he hadn't tied up every loose end here at Namco. 
If I'm going to find evidence, I'm going to have to go to the scene of the crime. The museum. But Mappy, you're a security guard, not a cop. The police won't let you near the crime scene. Meet me outside the Modern Art Museum tonight at midnight. Got it. And you meet me at that burger place tonight at 11 p.m. for a pre-investigation bite. Done and done. All right, this is it. If anything's gonna help us catch Goro, we'll find it inside. Hey, how are we supposed to get in? I scoped the place out earlier. They left the window open on the second floor. All right, but how do we get up there? Can't improve on the classics. I don't know, man. I've always been a go-under-things kind of guy. <laughs> Dig Dug, is there anything unique about this drill you helped design? The spec said the drill had to exactly replace the ground above it, so you couldn't tell it had tunneled anywhere. But we couldn't get it perfect. There's always a seam where the floor looks a little different. Hmm, just like in animations when the simply drawn foreground doesn't quite match the painted background. Oh my god! There! Look! If that tunnel leads back to Niamco, we've got Goro in the bag. Goro, huh? That sounds Italian. One of the famous painters whose art you just stole? Oh my god, are you Bravo Man? You're darn right I'm Bravo Man. Super unequaled hero of excellence. And I'm here to shut down your heist, Jinx. You, you sound really different on TV. Kid, of course I do. That's a professional voice actor. Those are just cartoons. Well, I'm glad you're here, B-Man, because you're just in time to help Dig Dug and me call her the real art thieves. First of all, I hate being called B-Man. B-Man and the Sting Squadron work out of Chicago. Second, I think I've already colored the art thieves. You crooks always seem to return to the scene of the crime. Us? No, I work for Nia. I'm a security guard. I'm a former cop. <sighs> always tragic when cops go bad. I guess a security guard paycheck can't compare to moving a Rembrandt on the black market, eh? Hi, Bravo man. I'm a huge fan. First time caller. We're telling you, we may not have done the smartest thing breaking in here to solve a crime, but our hearts are in the right place. Yeah? Well, your hearts are about to be in the right place. Behind bars. God, Bravo Man, don't do this! You're making a mistake! You're the ones making a mistake. Behind bars. Ah! Ooh. Oh. Ah, Ooh. That was my ear! Come on. Ah. Who kicks a person in the ear? I was apprehending you. Ooh. You forced me to use force. Ah! Uh, no one... Before she do anything, <laughs> is this gonna swell? Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna swell. That's gonna swell up like a balloon. Ooh, huh? How bad is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like he bent back the cartilage for a second. Oh, I don't want that image in my head. Are you all right? Hey, take it easy, Florence Nightingale. You seem awfully concerned about my well-being for a guy who just kicked me in the ear. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, but this was a heinous misuse of authority and an eye-opening look at brutality in modern law enforcement. So you're saying this tunnel will lead all the way back to Namco and this criminal of yours? Yeah, that's right. Probably even into Goro's office directly. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees us stroll right out of his crime hole. If you're right, and I can trust you, this could break the biggest heist in history. <laughs> Moment of truth. Ah! Oh, son of a- So what are you saying, Mappy? You think Goro stole the artwork from all the museums in the city? No! That's not what I'm saying at all! That's exactly what I'm saying. He must have stolen all the artwork and I'm gonna figure out how he pulled it off. He's using you to build drills that attach to safes so they can move stolen goods through the ground to another location. Alright, this is it. If anything's gonna help us catch Goro, we'll find it inside. Oh my god, are you Bravo Man? You're darn right I'm Bravo Man. Super unequaled hero of excellence. 
You sound really different on TV. Kid, of course I do. That's a professional voice actor. Those are just cartoons. You're saying this tunnel will lead all the way back to Namco and this criminal of yours. Yeah, that's right. Probably even into Goro's office directly. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees us stroll right out of his crime hole. Ugh. Son of a Attention, Yamco employees. This is your overlord, Goro. And today is the today I will destroy Mappy once and for all. <laughs> no, you can't do this. Goro, where's your sense of decency? I'm a cat. We have no decency. We just take warmth and nourishment and affection and give nothing back. We're terrible pets and even worse enemies. <laughs> and you, Mappy, are a prize mouse, succulent with terror. Hold still. This won't hurt me a bit. <laughs> Unless you contain peanuts, I'm allergic. No, no, no! Teeth! Are you, you okay, Mappy? You must have had some nightmare. No, no nightmare. Uh, that was a victory cry, because I had a dream about collaring Goro and throwing him behind bars. It's a good dream. The, it's okay if you have a nightmare, dude. It's, it's not embarrassing. He didn't eat me. I am not afraid of cats. I, Mappy, I don't get what's the big deal. I have nightmares all the time about getting crushed by my own boulders, accidentally inflating myself. Sometimes my dad is there. Man, could he yell. Boys. Love you, Dad. Boys! So far, this stakeout hasn't uncovered anything. Maybe your hunch that Goro would try and rob the Classic Art Museum was way off. I don't think so. I know Goro. He's a completionist. There's no way he'd steal all the modern art in town and leave perfectly good classical paintings behind. I bet you one of his self-stealing safes will come drilling out of there any minute now. So what's our team name? What? Well, we're here on stakeout. It's late at night. We're acting on a hunch, waiting for the bad guys. We're a crime-fighting team, so we need a cool team name. We need to pay attention to the museum. Look at us. A world-renowned hero, a hardened veteran enforcer of the law, and then there's you two guys, just as accomplished as me. Ah, oh, Dig Doug. This is the coolest night of my life. Dig Doug, we're just three guys with a score to settle. I've been waiting for this day. Goro's finally gotten sloppy. He tasks me. He tasks me, and I shall have him. I'll race him round the ridge and round the Bandai Maelstrom and round Perdition's Flame before I give him up. Public domain, it's Moby Dick, you can't sue me. Besides, everyone knows it's two guys. Wait, what? I'm the hero, obviously. And Matthew's my sidekick. He can hold his own in a fight. Oh, uh, thank you. Well, where does that leave me? You're like, uh, like the comic relief for the hero and sidekick. Comic relief? Comic relief? I'm on the inside of this thing with you guys. Goro betrayed me by using my drill technology to commit crimes. I got a serious dog in this race, and we are Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Okay, Dig Dug, you need to stop right there. Because that is awesome. I know, right? It's amazing. Why am I at the end? Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Excuse me, miss, but I'm from Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Really rolls off the tongue, huh? Yeah. You need four people. <laughs> I, what? Can't have a super team of three people. Has to be four, bud. What, are you serious? Says who? International Union of Heroes. They oversee all hero team nomenclature. Well, we're the only ones that are going to use it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be official. Yeah, but, I mean, it'd be cool if it was official. I don't know. I registered Bravo Man the second I thought of it. If I hadn't, who knows where I'd be. Man, maybe you're right. What if some other stupid team shows up and calls themselves Mappy Team Digger Bravo? Dig Dug, who cares? I know we think we're the only ones who are going to use the team name, but why not prepare for success? I'm submitting a form for Mappy Team Digger Bravo first thing in the morning. You still need a fourth person. But, it's bureaucracy. Who can we get who has a similar stake in the success of this mission to bag Goro? <sighs> Dig Dug, no. It's four people. No! We need four people, and he helped design the safes. Goro stole his ideas, too, and he deserves justice just as much as any of us. Uh... Gosh, fellas, it sure was nasty you to invite me to your stakeout. Even if it was kind of short notice, I had already pecked all the lice out of my feathers before bed. 
even though it's the perfect snack, bedtime or any time. Listen, Sky Kid, we have a chance to catch Goro in the act of robbing that museum. Can you tell us anything about your safe design that might help us? According to the specifications, the safe had to be able to carry about 3,000 pounds. Whew, with a payload like that, the safe could carry off almost anything in the museum. Maybe hundreds of oil paintings. And they requested that the safe had extra padding on the left and right inner walls. Does that help? Extra padding only on those two sides? Why would that be important? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I never saw the finished product. I always figured it was to protect the contents from motion that goes left to right. Left, right, left, right. Oh my right, god, Sky Kid, right. we get it! Shh! Something's happening inside. Can't really get a good look at it. We got movement. Let's roll! Freeze! By the power vested in me by the Namco Office Park Security Guard Junior Training Authority, you're under Citizen Mouse's arrest. Left, right, left. Goro gave them all legs! That thing's getting away! Follow me, everybody. I got this. Dig down! This is no place for a bird. <coughs> Wouldn't flying to Namco be faster? No! Dig Dug's right! <coughs> we need the tunnel to prove Goro's behind this! Soak it up, Mappy Team Digger Bravo! Dirt below and dirt above. Rocks blowing through your hair. It's the only way to travel. I want to dig! Oh my god. This is it. It's all here. We found it! And I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of my new sidekick, Mappy. What? No! I did this! My hunch! My knowledge of the criminal mind! My digging! My shirt! It's ruined! Oh, shit! <laughs> So what are you saying, Mappy? You think Goro stole the artwork from all the museums in the city? No! That's not what I'm saying at all! That's exactly what I'm saying. He must have stolen all the artwork and I'm gonna figure out how he pulled it off. Oh my god, are you Bravo Man? You're darn right I'm Bravo Man. Super unequaled hero of excellence. I'm the hero, obviously. And Mappy's my sidekick. He can hold his own in a fight. Uh, thank you. Well, where does that leave me? You're like, uh, like the comic relief for the hero and sidekick. Comic relief? Comic relief, I'm on the inside of this thing with you guys. Goro betrayed me by using my drill technology to commit crimes. I got a serious dog in this race, and we are Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Okay, Dig Dug, you need to stop right there. Because that is awesome. I know, right? Freeze! By the power vested in me by the Namco Office Park Security Guard Junior Training Authority, you're under Citizen Mouse's arrest. Left, right, left. Goro gave them all legs! That thing's getting away! Follow me, everybody. I got this. Dig down! Oh my god. This is it. It's all here. We found it! And I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of my new sidekick, Mappy. What? No! I did this! My hunch! My knowledge of the criminal mind! My digging! My shirt! It's ruined! Oh, shit! <laughs>
Pom 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 Attention, Namco employees. This is your head of security, Mappy. As of last night, I placed Goro under arrest for grand larceny, conspiracy to commit fraud, and the theft of over 1,200 works of art from museums around the city. I'm working with local authorities to ensure that Goro is prosecuted the full extent of the law. In the mouse justice system, cat-based defenses are considered especially heinous. At Nyamco, the detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Chong chong! All rise! The Honorable Judge Valkyrie presiding! You may be seated. Court is now in session. Mr. Goro, you stand accused of using robotic safes to steal all the artwork in the city. How do you plead? Your Honor, I plead, uh... Really? Hmm, I, I don't know. Do you think it'll work? Okay, it's worth a shot. Not guilty. Objection! You can't object to the defendant's plea, Mr. Mappy. Your Honor, not only do I intend to prove Gore was guilty of smuggling artwork, but I also intend to prove he's guilty of smuggling his guilt into this courtroom right under our very noses. Mr. Mappy, call your first witness. Your Honor, I'd like to call the stand Diglas D. Douglas. <laughs> I cannot read that without laughing. Your Honor, I'd like to call to the stand Diglas D. Douglas. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call to the stand Diglas D. Douglas, also known as Dig Dug. Uh, also known as Diamond G, Rock Solid Diggity, Puka Paluka, uh, number one worldwide party instigator. Mr. Dig Dug, you've been an employee of the Namco Corporation for quite some time, is that true? Are you, are you okay, dude? What? No, I... What? You know who I am, Mappy. We, we worked together for years. Did you did you get a concussion? No, I just answer the question, Dig Dug. It has to be on record. Oh, on record, right, right. On the record, yes, I have been an employee of the Niamco Corporation for years. Uh, in fact, since we're on the record, I've been a valued employee, one of the best, as a matter of fact. Uh, everyone there says so. Mr. Dig Dug, are you perjuring yourself? <laughs> Your Honor, I wouldn't dare. Not in front of all these people. Dig Dug. As an employee of Namco, what was your department? Oh, uh, I worked for R&D, rooting and drilling. And in your opinion, would it be reasonable to say that the boss of R&D department, someone like Goro, for instance, would have unlimited access to the drilling technology designed and built by your department? Hmm, well, it's, uh, uh, it, um, uh, did I get it? Is it off? Mr. Dig Dug, what is going on between you and the defendant? Oh, he started, he started going like this to me, and I had a meatball sub in the hallway, and you know how messy those can get. <laughs> Mr. Goro, are you attempting to interfere with Mr. Dig Dug's testimony? <laughs> no, Your Honor. I was just nervously rubbing my chin whiskers. I always do that when I'm innocent. Mr. Dug, would you please answer the question? Yeah, uh, Goro came around all the time. He had access to the department. It's his building. He'd ask us if the drills were capable of cutting through concrete, cement, steel, wood, if they were capable of burrowing into the earth undetected, if they were strong enough to haul a ton and a half behind them. And did he seem to have an interest in the drills beyond the scope of your research? Not really. I mean, he'd sometimes come in and hug and caress the drills while laughing maniacally, but... I did that too. Last question, Mr. Dig Dug. Did you think it was peculiar that Gora was requesting this specialized drill technology when everything else Namco produces has to do with museum storage systems? Yeah. Looking back, it was very peculiar. It's almost like, and I know this may not be true, let's give the guy the benefit of the doubt, but it's almost like these drills were designed to help steal artwork from museums. Objection, Your Honor. Those drills are powerful enough to steal any number of things, not just artwork. Sustained. No more questions, Your Honor. Now it's my turn to cross-examine. Dig Dug, have you enjoyed working for Nyamco? Sure. Great work environment. And what about Taco Tuesdays? My favorite part of the week besides Taco Mondays. Good healthcare plan? Nah. Given my history with Mappy, wouldn't you say it's possible he's only trying to get back at me for humiliating him years ago, back when I used to, used to, steal artwork before being a legitimate business cat who does not steal artwork? Hmm. Nice try, Goro. Not even Taco History Month could get me to say that. Well said. Loyal. I like that. 
I think you deserve a raise. Objection. Your Honor, I just want to put this craziness behind me so I can get back to being a beloved boss. No further questions. And Dig Dug, don't you forget about that raise. Same goes for anyone else who's an employee testifying today. You're all daddy's favorite. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to call Rapid Thunder to the stand. Now, Albatross, you were a corporate spy for Goro, is that right? Not at all. Because Goro told me to say that I wasn't. No. I mean, I'm not a corporate spy for Goro at all. I'm actually a bird. Cheep, cheep. Choo, 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 choo. Whippoorwill, Whippoorwill. Mr. Albatross. That's right, an albatross. Surprised? It was my name the whole time. Oops, I'm getting away. Flying through that open window. You can't make me testify if I'm not even here. Choop, choop, choop. Don't worry, Goro. No one suspects a thing. Albatross. No. Calling the prince to the stand. Goro? Makes sense to me. Time crisis. The cat tried to bribe us during our investigation, and the bribe was successful. Ninja Assault Clan? He is without honor. Sky Kid? Well, now that I look back on everything, I guess there does seem to be a preponderance of evidence that Goro spent millions of dollars of his company's money crafting the world's biggest museum heist. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Goro hasn't done things wrong. And I'm not going to tell you that Goro shouldn't be punished if he is found guilty for these terrible crimes. But I just think it'd be a shame for us to forget the fact that he's a person with feelings and desires and a mother and father who probably tried their best to raise him right. We all make mistakes in life. I have, you have, and Goro's no exception. But he still deserves to be treated with dignity. Sky Kid, do you think he did it? Oh, of course. He's guilty as fuck. No further questions, and the prosecution rests. Your Honor, before the defense rests, I would like to call myself to the stand. Goro, you're the CEO of Niamco, is that right? All right, you caught me. I did build walking safes to steal artwork, and I did leave a trail behind, because I wanted to get caught. But Goro, why? Objection. I'm asking the questions here. But Goro, why? Because I love art so much that I wanted to make the world's biggest performance art piece. That's all this was. And art isn't a crime now, is it? <laughs> Actually, Mr. Goro, this still is a crime. It constitutes the largest crime ever committed. This court finds you beyond guilty. I, I did it? I, I actually caught Goro? Be back here for sentencing next Monday. This court is adjourned. I beat Goro. I beat Goro. That's right, Mappy. You got me. You finally got me. <laughs> the f As of last night, I placed Goro under arrest for grand larceny, conspiracy to commit fraud, and the theft of over 1,200 works of art from museums around the city. I am working with local authorities to ensure that Goro is prosecuted the full extent of the law. In the mouse justice system, cat-based offenses are considered especially heinous. At Nyamco, the detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as Mappy Team Digger Bravo. Chunk chunk! All rise, the Honorable Judge Valkyrie presiding. Calling the prince to the stand. Goro, makes sense to me. Time crisis. The cat tried to bribe us during our investigation, and the bribe was successful. Ninja Assault Clan? He is without honor. Sky Kid? Well, now that I look back on everything, I guess there does seem to be a preponderance of evidence that Goro spent millions of dollars of his company's money crafting the world's biggest museum heist. 
Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Goro hasn't done things wrong. And I'm not going to tell you that Goro shouldn't be punished if he is found guilty for these terrible crimes. But I just think it'd be a shame for us to forget the fact that he's a person with feelings and desires and a mother and father who probably tried their best to raise him right. We all make mistakes in life. I have, you have, Goro's no exception. But he still deserves to be treated with dignity. Sky Kid, do you think he did it? Oh, of course. He's guilty as f***. It constitutes the largest crime ever committed. This court finds you beyond guilty. Uh, I did it? I, I actually caught Goro? Be back here for sentencing next Monday. This court is adjourned. I beat Goro. I beat Goro. That's right, Mappy. You got me. You finally got me. <laughs> Attention Yamco employees, this is your former boss Goro. The police have allowed me to issue this recording to you. Effective immediately, Yamco is closing its doors for good. As you know, I will be going away for a long time, and a prison cell is no place to run a company from. <laughs> it's been an honor for all of you to have worked under me, Goro, the greatest criminal genius the city has ever known. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm done, I'm done. Well, Dig Dug, it's been one hell of a ride, but it's finally over. Goro's behind bars, Niemco's closed its gates for good, and the city is a safer place. And I finally got my honor back. I know, dude. You gotta be chuffed right now. What's chuffed? Uh, it's, it's British. It's like excited. Why don't you just say excited then? Because, because you didn't sound just excited. You sounded... It's like a big deal. You sound chuffed. So I'm not excited, but I'm British excited. I, I was just trying it out. I've been waiting for the day I could bring Gore to justice. Now that it's come and gone, I'm on top of the world. This is the best day of my life! <laughs> What the hell? Hiss! Boo! Boo on you, you big head son of a bitch! Prince, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What were you thinking going after Goro so hard? This is gonna be the worst holiday season I've ever had. And I was disowned by my space dad! You testified against Goro, you know he's guilty! Yeah, but I don't know if he's gonna shut a Namco and put everybody out of a job. I just bought a condo a month ago. To make my mortgage, I had to pawn my catamari. Oh, Prince, no. It'll keep the lights on for another month. But I got nothing now. And it's all thanks to this overgrown rat. Hey, I'm an overgrown mouse. I'm not an overgrown rat. <laughs> mouse, rat, whatever, you stink. Oh boy, that's dad. Oh, he's gonna be pissed when he finds out I lost my job. Merry Christmas, you son of a I guess Goro going away has its repercussions, huh? That's a bummer. Couldn't have seen that coming. Boys, have you seen a guy run through here? Looks like a big yellow ball with a huge mouth. I don't know anyone by that description, Bravo Man. Darn it. Must have lost him. He knocked over an old lady a couple blocks away. Purse thief. That's terrible. Hey, do you need backup? The police are already fully mobilized. Petty crime and theft in the city is up like 25%. The place is turning into a powder keg. Why? What's gotten into people? Uh, only the collapse of the biggest company in the city. Hamco's closure put tens of thousands of employees on the streets. Everyone's broke. They got no money, man. When there's no presents for the kids under the tree, people get desperate. Not gonna be too many Merry Christmases this year. I gotta run. Just, uh, got a report of four ghosts selling cut power pellets down by the vacants. And if you run into that yellow perp, do not approach him from the front. He'll bite your head off, man. Oh, this town's in the grip of a new crime wave. Dig Dug. Am I somehow responsible for this? You? Come on, Mappy. That's cognitive distortion. You're a cop, a guard, a bastion of justice. You put a crook behind bars. Niamco being too big to fail isn't your fault. Oh, ha. Dig Dug, Mappy. I almost didn't see you guys there. No, oh, no, Sky Kid, not you too. Well, I was just on my way to move back into my parents' nest for the holidays. They've got extra space in the basement. You hear about this kind of thing all the time. Hatchlings returning home because an uncaring and savage employment landscape dumped them out in the cold. Business Flock magazine called it the new normal. Sky Kid, I, 
I never wanted anybody to lose their jobs. Oh, that's all right, Mappy. These things happen. Nobody's mad at you. Well, no one besides that angry mob of ex Niemco employees that's been wandering the streets looking for you. I'm just glad I ran into you first. Well, good luck, boys. It's been a swell adventure. Oh, Dig Dug. It doesn't matter that I caught Goro. He found a way to ruin me from jail. All those families without presence of the tree. I'm about to become the city's most hated mouse. <sighs> this is holiday season. We should be banding together. There's got to be a way to bring a little cheer to this town again. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be. But not by the book. Goro could predict that. And who knows what else he has in store. I think we've only got one chance to make this right. You know I'm with you right until the end, old buddy. And there's no time to waste. Quick, drill us to the Namco offices. You got it, Map. Oh, I, I had to sell my drill to pay rent. What are we doing here, Mappy? This is a crime scene. We're going to turn Goro into a reformed Ebenezer Scrooge without him even knowing it. Look, all the artwork's been returned to the museum, but the police haven't hauled the drill safes off to impound yet. Probably because they weigh a ton and nobody knows how to activate them. But you do, right? You worked on them under Goro. Well, even if I could turn them on, what would we do with them? We'd reprogram them to steal all the wealth and all of Goro's ill-gotten goods from Namco and then distribute them to everyone in town, like as payback. Huh. Turning them into robotic Robin Hoods and turning us into regular Robin Hoods made out of meat. What kid's Christmas wouldn't be brightened up by one of the plasma TVs in the boardrooms upstairs? Or a computer? Or a whiteboard? Or a bunch of staplers? Hmm, not great presents. Yeah, it's too bad Goro didn't run a toy store instead of an office building. Well, it's a start. Let's get to work. Hit, Hit it! Very standard layout. Interesting, they bypassed that. Huh, that makes sense. It's pretty efficient. What do you think? Can you hack it? I think I got this. Here goes nothing. Uh, are these voice activated? I don't know. Robots, uh, go. Steal from Niamco for the children for Christmas. It's working. It's really working. It is working. Don't worry, kids. Christmas isn't canceled. Not while Mappy's on the case. Why, Goro? You ruined yourself to get to me. You threw your business away, everything you worked to build, and you destroyed both of us in the process. <laughs> because, Mappy, it was never about the end result. It was always about the journey, the chase. We're on a level no one else would be able to understand, and I think you've always known that. We'll serve our time. We'll rebuild. But through it all, we'll never be rid of each other. You and I belong together. As enemies? Mm, details, details. Doesn't a little part of you respect what I've done? But you're a madman. Isn't a little part of you flattered that I went to all this trouble? I... I guess so. Hmm. <laughs> Happy holidays, Mappy. Happy holidays to you, too. Enemies forever? Enemies forever. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Sky Kid. The series you just watched was a dramatization of the dangers of unregulated capitalism. If you or a friend is the evil CEO of a multi-billion dollar corporation, there are places where you can go get help before it's too late. I wish I had a number or a website or something to share with you, but I don't know of any. I'm sure they exist though. Hmm. Well, goodbye. Pew, pew, pew.